what's up guys welcome to my channel if you are new yet my name is divine i'm a musical five minominak drummer and a keyboardist i have been for many many years i started making these videos as a space for music lovers like myself to check out our favorite artists and break down some of our findings that make them so so fantastic make sure you follow us on instagram at the perseverance reaction in order to recommend the favorite singers for us to react to What's up YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today guys, we're back here on the new video guys. Today, we're going to be reacting to what are we doing to white people. Uh, the title itself can be thrilled. I would like to find out what we are doing to white people that... Uh, how have we all tried to to white people? I really don't know. And I would love to know. I would love to know. I would love to be enlightened and know... What we are trying to do wrong to white people. So, you know how I do it, guys? We'll talk less very then we react more. Let's get into this video. Let's talk about what we're doing to white people. There's been something going on for a while now that we're being told not to notice. More to the point that we're asking white people not only to ignore, but to accept the rising tide of racial hatred against white people. In the past decade, there has been a noticeable cultural shift in what constitutes acceptable speech as it relates to white people. Back when I was a kid, mm. in the early 2000s, the mainstream American culture preached about respecting each other's differences and not seeing color. Nowadays, we say that not seeing color is racism, that you must see color. But the more I see That's how true. things are unfolding, the more I'm convinced that this is wrong. Back then, saying something offhanded about white people were seen as not appropriate, just as it would be to say something offhanded about people of any other race. But that soon gave away to our current times, in which there exists virtually no limit to what racial minorities can and do say about white people. I believe this is the natural outgrowth of a perverse ideology that teaches us that everything, every societal ill, is the fault of white people and that whatever prejudice acts we may inflict upon them does not constitute discrimination because we don't have the power to discriminate. And alarmingly, this is particularly pronounced in the younger generation. But is it true? Do we not have the power to discriminate? Well, let's see. First, let's take a look at the racial hatred at the interpersonal level. In today's society, it has become somewhat fashionable to think things and say things about and to white people that would not be acceptable if it was said about any other race. And we're being taught hmm. that this double standard is not wrong, that it is rather a form of empowerment. They'll attribute negative experiences that they've had with white people to their whiteness. You had an argument in line at the grocery store with a white person? They were acting entitled because they were white. A white driver cut you off when you were driving? They need to check their white privilege. Your actions, your conduct, and your existence, in other words, boil down to your whiteness. And ashamedly, at one point in time, this was how I used to think as well. And beyond the people in my circle, I noticed that many people of color have this sort of blase attitude, an attitude most particularly pronounced when there are no other white people around. Things are being said not just behind closed doors, but out in the open, not just between close friends, but between complete strangers. So here's the thing. This is something that I've experienced countless times, so I know that there are other people who are experiencing it too. I know it must resonate with at least some of you. The difficulty here is that no matter how many anecdotes I share, they are just that, anecdotes. And people who refuse to believe that this is happening will just chalk it up to my experiences being a fluke. Or worse yet, they'll say I'm lying. So I've compiled some TikTok videos. I want you to take a look at the things that are being said about white people, especially by the younger generation. The kind of statements people wouldn't dare say about people of any other race. Take a look at what is stunningly in vogue in today's society and ask yourselves, where does this lead to years down the line? You have a token white and you're hanging out with your friend group of color. You need to ask permission from everybody in the group to bring your white friend. Like, don't just bring them. With them. I'm serious. I'm to deal with white shenanigans that day. That's, that's all I'm saying. And another thing, it feeds into their ego. Like, don't don't let them think they're a good white person. Accomplices ask, how can they support black and indigenous people of color? And sometimes I really don't know what to say, but here's one easy way. Just don't have babies. Men can single-handedly cause the white genocide that they are so afraid of. With 2.25 billion Asian women and half a billion white men, baby, it'll only take two generations. In two generations, there will no longer be any blonde hair. These are some things I noticed about white American culture. Being grounded is a punishment to them. That's what they call punishment. Mm. The least grounded, least balanced, most destructive race considers being grounded a punishment. Yeah. 
They also say really violent phrases. Like, they say things like, kill two birds with one stone. Why do we have to kill the birds? Why is everything so violent? It's almost like one's language and phrases reflects one's nature. Hmm. So that new uh, Jeffrey. Dunn no, 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 no. This, this is actually true. Like sometimes, a lot of times, not sometimes. Like what I read go against whites a lot, but just sweep it down the carpet, and uh, which is not fair. Like which is not fair. We take it as a normal thing. Whereas if it was to don't tell what I raises, we're going to be angry. What she's saying right there, like. If it was said to my own race, I'll, I'll definitely be pissed. It's it's bad. It's 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 not normal. It's it's very 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 bad. Asians too are doing to white people. Black are doing to white people. Why? Are doing to white people? Pardon me. But this this is totally not fair. It's not fair to each any race. You have to respect each and everyone that races and don't do to others what you would not want them to do to you. That is simple as that. Just. This is violence we are trying to create for our own self. And these are younger generations. It's, it's very, very alarming. Our movie on Netflix is the perfect example of the sensationalization of white violence. People have a much easier time sympathizing with white criminals than they do with black victims. And people think these shows are harmless, but they actually contribute to a much bigger issue. It contributes to the viewpoint that white people are less violent than everyone else and white violence is something to be consumed in media and that's it. What is with Caucasian people in like their inability to like read a fucking room? Like y'all act like you don't understand shit because y'all be the first ones during a conversation about the Holocaust to get so mad when black people be like, you do realize that the original Jewish people were black, right? White people do not need to explain to anybody about us all bleeding red because baby, you all are the people that need to learn that lesson. Clearly history shows that you all are the people that like to pillage and eradicate, enslave and oppress, attempt to suppress greatness because you all simply don't have it. Right? Here go y'all cum goblins who don't even live in the fucking city. Which, by the way, the Q-tip people are the last ones to ever talk about somebody stealing anything. Y'all wouldn't be in this country had it not been for y'all stealing it. So y'all are more focused on people looting and trying to get necessities and things that they need. And yes, a TV is a fucking necessity. Thank you. You feel like you're better than because people are out here stealing and ugh, you would never. First of all, if you are a mayo monster, that is how your ancestors got everything from stealing. People are and that's a behavior. From history, stealing. from history, like... It's it's a normal thing. It's from history. There is no country who stand on that own without taking from another. Like there is no country who stand on that own without taking from another. So this is racism right here to white people. This is totally racism, and it's just been swept down the carpet. Egyptians is too, and they are from Africa. So it's it's normal thing. The slavery of its Egyptians enslave other countries. When it comes to slavery, Egypt's daddy, like, top god, <laughs> if I'm to say, those um, times. So, what we're saying, right, it's, this, is, this is racism. This is high racism that are being swept down the carpet to white people. Like, different races are just coming against white people. Like, that's, it's very, very bad. It's, it's, it's hard to be spoken about. Like, it's, it's unfair. It's unfair because if it's to my race, I'll be pissed. It's totally unfair. Because it's something like we all see does not mean it's right for you to to say it. We we all see black people have like allowed sometimes are kind of like violence. It's true. But if it's a white person who say that it's it's offensive. That is the same way we seeing such words are offensive to them, but they kinda of like okay. They don't want to create war. So what we're doing right here, we're creating an alarming situation that can reach to violence. It's, it's, it's really terrible. Very common among white women. You may have not intended that, but there are many white women who act exactly like you. 
If you could find it in your heart this holiday season <laughs> to donate to the discriminated white fund, you'd be helping millions. Nothing says high protein like cicadas and cheese. Make sure you... F and nothing says caucasity like that right there. What caucasity looks like? Roaming Asian grocery stores like it's an amusement park. Explain to me why white people don't wear shoes outdoor. Wow. Wear shoes <laughs> both white women we are inherently a danger in spaces for black indigenous and other people of color mm. simply by existing it's white cis men who are a part of the far right winged ideology of fascism that is a true threat and the terrorism to this country if by poc stand in the street and scream at the top of their lungs i hate all white people i want all white people to go die die white devil you cracker bitch um, that's still not racism. You're not one of the good white people. Other. Stop separating us from the bad white people. Don't sit out there in comments and say, we don't claim them. We are that. <laughs> we are the ones shooting up schools. We are the ones raping people. The ones this happens to everywhere. And I'll say it. I hate being white. You know, which means I'm one of the good ones. White people are inherently racist. Yeah. Can you be racist against white people? Based off of the definition of racism, yes, but it's not gonna hurt them and hurt their opportunities like it does people of color. Well, technically, you can. It's not like an issue. You can't right. oppress the oppressor. If it helps you sleep at night, I'm racist to white people and I'm proud of it. Why do people not understand that you can't be racist to white people? It's it's impossible. The system is not set up that way. You can insult white people. But it is not racism. Me calling a white person a tub of mayonnaise and a like flower looking ass. It's not, what? That's not racism. You went all the way to Africa to physically take black people from their homes, shove them in on boats where a lot of them got diseases and died. Tell them where they could white people the also die. Tell them which schools they could go to, which water fountains they could use, which bathrooms they could use. And that's sugarcoating it. Those are just turns. I'm not even describing all the disgusting things that happen. And they don't even want revenge. They are letting you guys what is this guessing? for equal rights. That's it. And you're still saying no? They are not as angry as they should be. Y'all are getting off easy and you're still saying no? Fuck you. Some people look at that and chalk it up to the grumblings of the powerless. That's the idea that when you have a power disparity, the less powerful sort of has this general society given leeway to complain about the more powerful. The villagers complaining about their king doesn't have the same ring as the king making snide and crude comments about the villagers. Hmm. But that's not what's going on here. Because although certain segments of our society refuse to believe this, even as evidence mount before our very eyes, in one side of the political aisle, people of color actually have greater power than white people. That is the truth that is not being acknowledged by the people that need to hear it because this gets in the way of them wielding that power in the way they want, malignantly. I've heard from somewhere that politics is downstream of culture and I think that is certainly correct. We have a mainstream culture that tells us it's okay to hold prejudiced and hateful view of white people and our politics is then infused with this energy and we see active, overt, and on the books racial discrimination of white people that those who are perpetuating this hatred discrimination, true. see as discrimination. They'll say, no, 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 this is remediation. These are the same people who are making tenuous arguments that some of our race neutral laws discriminate against people of color. And this is certainly evidence that in one side of the political aisle, people of color have more power than white people. Because if we didn't have the power, we wouldn't be able to put into place practices and policies that does this. That's what power is. Things like Minneapolis local government agreeing to a contract with the teachers union that says white teachers must be fired first. New York City's government enacting a policy of having white seniors go to the back of the line Are you and serious? Be treatment. A college professor that says white people should be killed and facing no repercussions. Cornell University banning white people from rock climbing lessons. One of many many, many instances of liberal colleges doing the utmost to exclude and ostracize white students. Damn. BIPOC only events equal no whites, but they don't have the guts to say that, even though that is what that is. That's what makes this different than the murk rumblings of the common villager. The villagers have surrounded the palace demanding Mary Antoinette's head. The power dynamics have shifted. That is a fact. Progressive media outlets do not cover these stories. Some people out there have no idea Someone like me. what's going on. But worse, some others out there know but agree with what's going on. And for those people to convince themselves that this is not racial discrimination, they play mind tricks and word games. These phrases and talking points like punching up, you can't be racist to white people. You can't oppress the oppressor, meaning 
I'm acting oppressively, but I've designated you as the oppressor, so everything goes. Or Ava Rex Candy's infamous words, the only way to remedy past discrimination is current discrimination. Or when people say things like, what we're doing to white people is not racism because racism is prejudice plus power and we don't have the power. <laughs> they use all this mind-bending apparatus to delude themselves into believing what they're doing faces no moral quantity. But in the back of their minds, perhaps in their subconscious minds, is racial True. revenge. We experienced it. You experience it too. See how you like it. That people of color are using our newfound power to act this way and then pretend like none of this is going on leads me to believe that we would have done the same thing that white people did were we mm. to be in their historical position. Because such acts nature. have its roots in human nature, not white people nature. And one can only imagine what might happen in the coming decades when the demographics of the US will have shifted such that white people will no longer constitute the majority. When the younger generation you've just seen have graduated from elite schools and hold positions of power in our institutions, our government, corporations, entertainment, news media, and so forth, how they might, in wielding the levers of society, be able to rationalize using their adult brain the hatred that was embedded mm. in their minds during their adolescence. What we're seeing is just the beginning. To the white people who are watching, I just want to say, you are not an oppressor for refusing to accept an ideology that teaches people to hate you, that teaches you that you are inherently bad, that your children are inherently bad, that you are inherently racist no matter what you do or how you think, that you need to repent by taking affirmative steps in your life to redress harms that your ancestors may have done or the racist actions of other white people. In fact, you are not an oppressor, period. You did not choose to be born white, just like any of us did not choose uh, to be yeah. born in our race. And to ask of you, at the individual level, for example, to give your life in service of people of color, to be used as physical barriers at protests, to give away your house to black people instead of your children, all actual things that have been publicly demanded of white people, to ask this of you is morally reprehensible collective punishment. You are not under any obligation to carry yourself in any sort of way that others demand of you just because of the color of your skin. This, you need to do this and you need to do that because you benefit from privileged things. I've heard this been several times. It's just a way for people harboring racial animus to attack you, to say that the accomplishments you've achieved in your life isn't yours, and to silence you. It is not you. It is this ideology that is wrong and perverse. It is one cloaked in a shroud of pseudo-justice and self-righteousness, all the while excreting toxic fumes of racial hatred. It blames all white people for the actions of their ancestors, something you have no control over, while absolving black people of personal responsibility for their own individual actions by holding that black people commit acts of harm, for example, towards another community. That's the fault of white supremacy. White people are controlling them like puppets on a string. It's a backwards, transgressive ideology. If you don't harbor any hate in your heart but want to fight it as a matter of principle, this does not make you racist or bigoted. If you refuse to accept their premise in your head, but are too afraid to voice your opinion, you are neither a coward nor a bad person. If you're of a liberal bent, but there's a small corner in your brain telling you as you're watching this video that perhaps some of this is wrong, listen to your intuition. Maybe you think, oh, I agree with most of what the progressive left teaches about racial justice, but just not with some of this disagreeable stuff only at the extremes, I'm here to tell you that the rot starts at the core. This racial hatred of white people is a natural outgrowth, part and parcel of an ideology that attempts to indoctrinate us into believing that there is current systemic oppression going on, that all racial disparities we see today is the sole result of oppression by white people, when there are other more plausible explanations to be had that these same people are silencing as impermissible in speech. They're telling you, shut up, you'll take it, and you'll like it. But contrary to what they're saying, you don't have to take that. You can believe that the things that have been done in the past were morally wrong, as well you should, all the while believing that what is currently going on is also wrong, that we're going backwards, that this is history rhyming with itself, the table is turning in True. an eye for an eye manner. As the great Mahatma Gandhi once said, nice. an eye for an eye will leave the whole world blind. But those driven by hatred would sooner gouge everyone's eyes out than realize that true victory for people of color would have been having history record that when the power dynamics shifted, we treated white people with a kindness that their forefathers may not have shown our forefathers. But now, it will say when we gain the power, we turned around and started doing some of the same stuff to white people. Segregation, social ostracization, hatred sanctioned by government and law. And we're doing all of this while pretending like we're doing something valiant. We've missed our bus, but that doesn't mean that there can't be a course correction. So, to some people of color watching who are engaging in this sort of hatred, 
whether or not you're acutely aware. The same people that act like white people as a collective are not people, but rather some pernicious alien force that has come to invade the earth. With this video, I implore you to ask yourself, what are we doing to white people? As some people love to say, do better. Okay, if I'm to say we other races where have the um, opportunity the way the white had during those times let's say we're in the shoe are we going to treat them differently from how they treat us because if you observe it's actually not you the new generations it was our forefathers at out of a way of should i use the word um survivor the slave that it picked from Africa, some white people also die, especially those who came to West Africa through malaria. They were being sold by their own fellow black, not the whites. They were being traded for drinks and food to the whites. So sometimes it's, it's not how you see the coin. You have to check very well to know where the issue is coming from because this is totally racial revenge. We are revenging against the whites for what our forefathers have done, not who they are. I see that white people have privilege and black don't have privilege. I see that coming out more often like white people privilege. It's, it's not a fault that they were being born white. That's the funny thing. Like It's like you being born black like my skin right now. It's not my fault I was being born black. It's how it turns out to be. But we don't have to make them run away from their skin tone just to please you being black or being Asian or any other race. It's, it's not fair. It's not totally fair. It's not fair at all. Because you having privileges is being your skin tone is what your forefathers have done to lead you guys to where you are. It's just like a royal, royal family right now. Um, in the UK, like Queen Elizabeth, the royal family, the privileges of them being a royal family followed them through generations. It's not that fault that they were being born in the royal family. It's not that fault. So it's how life turns out to be. So you don't blame them for being white. You don't blame them for coming out to be born white. Neither would they blame you to be turned black to, to, for you to be born black. We black people, we are we are vo very 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 vocal. We are very loud everywhere in the world. Like we are all together, we are all loud. But the whites calling you loud, you guys are rude. You guys are don't. It's be offensive. The way we are also treating them is very very poorly. It's very poorly. We see this and sweep it down the carpets. Some of the words he was saying, yeah, like this is actually my first time hearing them, and I was really shocked. Also, the videos, I, the clips I watched from TikTok, like, I was really shocked that my fellow black people can treat people like that because it's unfair. We know they are bad eggs. 100% all race have bad eggs. There are people, there are white people who treat black people poorly. There are also black people who are treating white people very poorly. There is no race that don't have a black head, but I don't have a black egg, but we shouldn't continue that pattern because if we continue two blind people leading the blind like we won't see where we're going so we have to stop this discrimination racial discrimination against each other we have to move forward we have to think about how to move forward and stop this skin to differentiate who we who we really are we might be born in different ways but we all might have the same mindset like we all might think positive to create a better future most time I see this racial discrimination as a way of political, a way of creating violence and keeping us stagnant. So we have to look past this racial discrimination and look forward to how we can make this world a better place. Global warming and different things, how to help people that are suffering, not just about race, race, race. I watch movie today, you see um, cops holding down um, black people it's mostly that pattern mostly that pattern they are narrative i know it's common i know it's happening but it's 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 being talked about like the whites are the 
villains than the black and the Asians. We are the heroes. Like that is how they sometimes picture it to me to see every time. It's been repeated over and over and over again. Like most movies I watch, oh yeah, yeah, the cops are always against the black. It happens. Say the same way, the black too were also against the whites sometimes. So they're also bad eggs, but we should not allow those bad eggs influence the entire entire race. So we have to be very mindful and treat everyone the way we're going to treat ourselves. According to how the Bible says, it says, do to others what you wanted to do to you. If you know this, you are telling to the next person, you won't want the, such person to do to you back. Don't do that to the, to the person. It's as simple as that. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Simple. This video really enlightened me. I opened my eyes to see what my fellow black people and also other races are doing to the white people, which is unfair. And we have to stop that out. I felt pity for him while he was speaking. Like he, he was really pained. He is something that has been in his heart ever since to spill out. And him spilling it out right now really touched me. And I know as many people that are watching this video, I know such things really touched you too. So guys, comment down below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video to us. Many us can subscribe to our YouTube channel, guys. You know how to do it. We'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just want a bag, like an old lady. I'm back, wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitches in my bed. I got scales all